Hadith of Tirmidhi says, it says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu Durat. I'm not making this the Hadith. So you, that Shaitan made me do sin? Ah, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the Adhan. Right? That Shaitan, you're going to make him, you're going to make him leak some serious gas. Serious gas. He won't be coming near you for some time. Because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Really that we believe without understanding. So they asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> so you wash your hands three times, and then you pull the water up your nostrils and take the water off again three times. Why? The Prophet said that the devil sleeps on your nostrils. I, didn't, I don't see any, anybody bothering me or sleeping yet. Well, you don't see him. So you have to believe in this. And, you, and I do this, you do this, all of you, of course, do this, because it's part of the sunnah, and we believe in the unseen. We haven't seen Allah, have we? So we believe in Allah, because it's overwhelming the evidence is around us. No one is, is a fool to say that, except the atheist, of course, to say that <laughs> there is no God. And some scholars say that, the atheists, atheists are close to us because they say there's no God. So we have to complete except Allah. So they're halfway with us in the Shahada. They say there's no God and we say there's no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah. So it's, we're, we're meeting halfway. So the shaitan sleeps over our nostrils. We have to do this when we wake up. Not only that, the Prophet said والسلام, the hadith is in the Sahih that it's in Sahih al-Bukhari al 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 and in the other books of, of the Sahih as well. The Prophet says والسلام, when they pointed out to him that this man overslept until it was daytime. He did not pray Fajr and some scholars say that he did not pray Witr, night prayer. But let's give it to the benefit of the doubt and say that he did not pray Fajr until the sun rose. What did the Prophet say? He said that that was a man who the devil urinated in his ear. This is so hard to accept. When I skip the Fajr prayer, shaitan urinates in my ear? Yes. If you oversleep until the sun has risen, if it's by accident, it's okay. Inshallah, because Allah knows that this is not your habit. But if you deliberately set your alarm clock to go off at <coughs> 7 o'clock, 7.30, now I think it's, it's okay, 7 o'clock, 7.30, Fajr is late. But when it's really uh, in summer and the Fajr is like 2.30, who wakes up for, for Fajr prayer? Who believes, to begin with, that Allah is the provider? We believe that Barclay Bank, Bank is, is the provider. If we don't do it, we're not going to get a payer check. So people skip Fajr prayer for the work, for the schools, for anything. Because it's too early. This is the person that Satan takes as his uh, 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 public loo. He urinates every single morning in his ears. And you cannot see his urine, you cannot see this. You cannot see his urine, you cannot see him, but you can definitely feel the impact on your heart. So many times these people complain 
we have a dead heart. We have hearts as hard as stone. Why can't we understand the Quran? Why can't we feel so uh, the passion to learn about Islam? Why don't we fear Allah when we pray? Or let me rephrase that. Why don't we pray to begin with? Well, simply because of the blockage caused between your senses and your heart due to this urine of, of shaitan, may Allah protect us all. Because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. Really that we believe without understanding. Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts. In Fun Fact 3, we learned that Satan pees in your ears. In Fun Fact 6, we saw that Satan hides in your nose when you sleep. But many of you were wondering, what does Satan do when he hears the Adhan, the Islamic call to prayer? Fortunately for us, Muhammad's followers wondered the same thing, and the Prophet of Islam had the answer. Sahih al-Bukhari, number 1231. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger said, When the call for Salat, prayer, is made, Satan takes to his heels passing wind, so that he may not hear the Adhan. Sunan an nasai number 671. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, When the call for prayer is given, the Shaitan takes to his heels passing wind loudly, so that he will not hear the call to prayer. When the call to prayer is finished, he comes back. Muslim commentators are careful to point out that Satan literally farts when he hears the call to prayer. As the commentator for this edition of Sunan an nasai notes, breaking wind evidently signifies the literal breaking of wind. If Satan can eat and drink, then why deny other bodily functions? Some have understood the said phrase to mean abhorrence, but this interpretation is without evidence. According to Muslim preachers, one of the virtues of Islam is its simplicity. And it's difficult to argue with their claim that Islam is simple, since, with all the talk of Satan peeing in your ears and farting and hiding in your nose, Islam sounds like it was invented by a five-year-old. Has asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.